Uh, yeah, we're reasonably confident. We know um, clearly after the last few days we, we've got a little bit of belief and a little bit of momentum. So we know if we play our best cricket that um, we're going to be every chance to win the test. Uh, yeah, well, we want to win every series we're involved in. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want to be the team that, that lost against us though for the first time, would you? So, um, yeah, as I said, we're, we're just focusing on uh, what we do and if we can do that well for five days then we know we're going to be a really good chance of winning it. Which is exciting for our group because, um, you know, to come over here with with three debutants in your, in your top six and um, be in the series at this stage is, is great. Um, and as I said before, we're happy with the fight we showed in the last test, but, but we're going to take it to another level this test and, and, uh, and try and win it. Oh, I think cricketers generally relax a little bit more once, once you've got a game out of the way. There's always a bit of stress um, when you're leading to you know, the start of a series and, and particularly for us, we'd, we'd come off a, off a winter where we hadn't played uh, for quite some time as a test team. So um, yeah, there's always going to be some, some tension and some nerves around, but um, I thought the guys handled it reasonably well in the first test and um, yeah, we come into this test with, with a bit more momentum and, um, and guys know what to expect a bit more, I suppose, in these conditions. Yeah, it certainly is for us. Um, this tour in particular, we've, we've spoken a lot about um, patience and partnerships and pressure and, and we've continued to, to talk about that in the lead up to this test. So um, our bowlers understand and know exactly what we expect of them. Um, and I thought they did a really good job in the first test. Um, of, of, you know, I thought they, they tried their guts out on a wicket that, that didn't give them a lot. So um, and then in the second innings, we, we took five wickets in you know, 40 or 50 overs. So um, we know it will work. Uh, it's just that over here, sometimes it can take a lot longer uh, to get those initial few. But um, you know, we, we've had a good look at, um, say, Muhammad Afiz this test. Um, we think there's some areas that we can improve to him, and um, hopefully that will get us a result of getting him out early. Uh, no, not really. Um, I mean, I've obviously been around quite a while, so I, I sort of know how it works. Um, yeah, not a lot's changed, to be honest, but I think living in Hobart as well, I'm a little bit shielded from from uh, from, the, from a lot of the media, so um, it's probably slightly different for me than it was to, to a Smithy or, or a Michael Clark before me who are sort of in that um, intense environment, I suppose, in Sydney or Melbourne, those places. So I'm really lucky that um, I live where I live. John's, yeah, you know, he's a bit of a, he's a character, that's for sure. But I think um, sometimes shields the fact that how seriously and and how desperately he wants to do well at test level. So, um, yeah, he certainly showed a few nerves in the in the first innings, but um, I thought he settled into his work at times really well in the first innings um, and and bowled really nicely in the second innings as well. So, um, you know, he's got a few challenges that he'll have to look at this test. Like I thought it was pretty clear that that when he came on, the Pakistan batsmen tried to attack him. A little bit more, um, you know, trying to get our quicks back on or, or make us bowl line out a bit more and try and get him tied. So um, John's John's aware of the way they're going to come at him this game, and um, he's got some plans in place to to counter that. Oh, they're a very good team. Um, they've got clearly some some really skilled batters, uh, particularly in these conditions. Uh, the batters are prepared to bat for a, a long time. Um, something that that we're still working at, particularly over here. Um, and they've got world-class spinners. Um, Muhammad Abbas is, is you know, a fantastic bowler in all conditions. Um, so yeah, we, we, we know what we're up against. We know they're an excellent team, uh, even better in, in these conditions. So um, yeah, we, we certainly respect uh, how good they are, but um, we think our best cricket's good enough to beat them. Yeah, no, we're very pleased with our batting in the second innings, um, particularly after what happened in the first innings and, and having three guys on, on debut. Um, I think everyone had worked so hard and, and made a lot of improvements, you know, playing in these conditions. And then to have what happened in the first innings um, was obviously a bit of a confidence, um, a bit of a, a, a dent to our confidence, I suppose. So I was really pleased with the way our, our top six or seven batsmen stuck to their guns and, um, and got some awards in the second innings on um, in even tougher conditions than the first. So that was really pleasing. Um, yeah, and a good confidence boost for, for all of us coming into this test. Um, and yeah, no, we haven't settled on a, on a team as yet.